Idalia slammed into Florida's Big Bend as a high-end Category 3 hurricane with winds of 125 miles per hour and storm surge that topped 10 feet in some locations. Just 24 hours before, it was just a low-end Cat 1. Idalia underwent rapid intensification when a tropical cyclone's winds increase at least 35 miles per hour in a 24-hour period. Idalia's winds increased 55 miles per hour in that time. For a storm to undergo rapid intensification, several factors have to come together just perfectly, like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, including warm ocean waters, a moist environment, and a lack of wind shear. The extremely warm ocean temperatures that we're seeing this year are a big, big factor that are uh, leading or contributing to the rapid intensification of hurricanes like Italia and Franklin. Dr. Rosamar Rios Berrios is a climate scientist with the National Center for Atmospheric Research and a member of Science Moms. She says rapid intensification will become more common as our climate warms. But what climate projections agree with is that the fraction of hurricanes that may go rapid intensification and as well as the fraction of storms that may reach category four or five intensity may increase in the next decade or two. Climate change is also influencing storm surge projections. A stronger hurricane is able to push more water inland, but if on top of that you add a higher level of the sea level, then not only you have a stronger storm being able to push more water, there's also more water that can be pushed inland. Coastal populations may become more prone to storm surge in a warmer climate. And although we may not have seen that first landfall here along Georgia's coastline, it certainly did damage near Valdosta. Photos coming in yesterday from the Georgia Forestry Commission. They were cutting down trees and actually many different agencies surveying how much tree damage we got close to landfall where the center of that path came in. This is a map right here and I've posted this on my Facebook page. So you can see a little bit closer, but Savannah's right there. Valdosta's right here. They did have some tree damage in Valdosta, but not as much as we saw when Michael came through in 2018, just under five years ago. That Southwest Georgia tree damage was much more significant. In the tropics, peak of hurricane season is just a week away, and it looks like it. We've got two named storms right now. We have got Katia, which formed yesterday, and we also have Tropical Storm Gert, which re regurgitated from the dead, if I can make a pun there. Another tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa with a 20% chance, but I want to talk about this next invest, Invest 95L. This has an 80% chance of development. The next name on the list is Lee. We're about a week away from this reaching the Leeward Islands. So I've already had folks asking me, what is this going to do? What is it going to mean for Florida? Far too early to talk about any uh, potential way it might move beyond the Leeward Islands, but it looks like by next weekend at this time we'll be tracking that uh, north of Puerto Rico or Hispaniola. 